there, I'm back again. Just doing a few more upgrades to the truck. Uh, as you know from probably one of the earlier videos, I stuck a uh, aluminium tread plate on the back on the back of the uh, door. Uh, I'm after I've been after an actual shelf. They're on eBay and everywhere, but they all seem to be out of stock. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make my own. So I went on eBay, I brought all the components I needed. So I thought I'd bring you with me and we'll make this and we'll get fitting it. Right then, we've got the components over here. Aluminium tread plate, we've got a hinge, various rivets and bits of chain. So what we've got to do is stick all this together and get it on the vehicle. So I'll start by the aluminium tread plate. That was cut to size off eBay, where most of the stuff's come from. I'm just going to round off these edges so it ain't so sharp and just get a quick sand down. Right, you tell you them two edges I need to do. If I'm walking around the car, at the back of the car, when I'm doing stuff, I don't want to catch my, uh, well, that's how sharp it would be. I don't want to catch my legs or any other part of my body on that. That will cut it. But that's on the hinge side, so that shouldn't be a problem. I'm just going to sand this side for the moment, because when this is on the car, I can do this later date, so... Just taking sharp edges off there. Right, that'll do for that. So our first job will be to just to put the hinge on here. Right, there you go. Four mil drill. That all for the hole for the rivets. I'll do the first couple, and then I'll carry on, and we'll bring you back when I've done the hinge. Make sure this is four mil. Right, so we're using these rivets. I'll put these two in first so it keeps it in place. Then we can drill the rest of the holes and put them in.
right there you go I'll put two roots in if you want to you can use nuts and bolts to do this job so once that's it I can now re drill all these holes do all these rivets and when I've done that I shall bring you back That's the first job done, that's all on, hinges there as you can see. So our next job will be to do the, heat, the uh, chains. I've already pre-cut these, now I've been talking to a few people and it looks like when these are on in your car it drives your balmy. So what I've done got some electrical uh, wire cover with two tubes of heat shrink so I'll take you through that quick process right now I've found the piece I've got what I'm going to do is grab this this is just to pull it through create a bit of a pain on the back side to get through with the So what I'm going to do now is feed this end through and pull the chain through. Two pieces of heat shrink, I'm nearly there. I'm going to put this on next, otherwise, you have problems getting it on. This ain't the good stuff either, so. If you don't get all the strands in, it tends to stick. One for each end. Right, so there's the heat shrink on. What we've got to do is get this chain through. It appears to be a pain. There you go, there's one in doubt. Now, if you didn't have heat shrink, you'd end up being all frayed and horrible. I'll pull that through to there. And grab that, and hopefully that will then all go all the way down to there.
Trim with a bit of that off now. Don't need it all. Stuff is terrible for fraying. Right, leave it on the edges and get the air dryer. Well, paint stripper. Right, so there we go. We've now got the two piece of chain. Hopefully now it won't drive me by me with rattling. So we're gonna drill two holes here and we'll fix these into the aluminium. Right, five mil drill. First time I've used this set. A gift off uh, Ian for my birthday. Woody Wood Prepper, he's making some more fires. So if you want any, get in touch with him. Draw this about an inch in on both corners with the 5mm drill. Luckily, it's only a workbench, so I ain't gonna worry about. Actually, I might need to do that first. Just to make it a little bit easier for me to drill. Find an original hole. It's a bit wibbly wobbly. Right, there's a couple of uh, nasty burrs on there. I'll just quickly take them off. Right, there you go. So we'll get our two pieces of chain. I have slightly bent in the vise one end, which might get it to go through a little bit easier. Right, I've just had this give this another quick uh, bend. It wasn't enough to let it go through it nice and easy. So all it's going to be is that on there, I'll go and get the uh, allen key and we'll get that put together. Right, I'm using some threaded, uh, plastic threaded nuts on there so it don't come undone again. Get that bit straight. One done. Did he bend this one enough? A bit shrunk overnight.
front. There you go. They're done. All I'm going to do, I'm going to get the Dremel and I'm quickly going to take these two high points off. So again, I don't want to be catching myself on them. Right, that's uh, all we can do in the uh, workshop at the moment. As you can see, the shelf's nearly done. Just got to go outside, put it on the car. Mm -hmm.